Good morning. It is Wednesday, September the 4th. Uh, we're starting the day with, in most cases, partly cloudy skies. Um, and a nice little breeze blowing out here this morning. Actually doesn't feel too bad, considering dew points are still in the 60s. Now there is a cold front that's gonna be coming through the area over the course of this morning. Uh, which could stir up a spotty shower, but I think most places will stay dry. Welcome, everyone, to Wake Up Whiteboard Weather, sponsored by Wet Go, your place to go for your sparkling car wash. Uh, and uh, boy, we're going to have some great car wash weather for about the next week or so. Probably our longest stretch of dry, pleasant weather that we may see. Uh, this year not only so far but the entirety of the year now before we get to weather I uh, just wanted to vent for a minute last night uh, flicking through the stations uh, and turn on the pirate game in the eighth inning I'm like ah buckos are winning all right I'll stick with it stuck with it until the top of the ninth inning two outs just need one out home run uh, Turned it off, found out this morning Buckos lost in 10, 5 to 4. By the way, <laughs> I don't know if you saw um, the shots from the game. There were plenty of good seats available. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I blew my nose. Looks like I have a tissue there. Uh, plenty, of <laughs> plenty of good seats uh, were available. All right, today, uh, sun came up 650 this morning. Goes down tonight, 748 averages or 79 and 58 and allergies ragweeds and tree pollens in a moderate range today today's national macadamia nut day it's national wildlife day in which people are uh, reminded of endangered species and also conservation and preservation of wildlife and this is a kind of an old school one now it's national newspaper carrier day today um, not sure how many newspapers actually get carried anymore uh, quite honestly uh, I think the newspaper only comes if you still subscribe to it what like three or four days a week total they cut down about four days a week uh, so if you still have a newspaper carrier give them some love today uh, because they are an endangered species um, born on this day Beyonce the uh, entertainer musician um, David Garrett I don't know if you know who David Garrett is He's a, uh, like of a contemporary violinist. Um, I saw him at the Benetton a number of years back. He was wonderful. Uh, so if you ever have a chance to see David Garrett, uh, I highly recommend it. And if you know Dr. Drew Pinsky, uh, he's sort of like the celebrity doctor. Uh, he has a birthday today. Um, all right, let us get to some weather information today. Got to talk about Dorian, of course. Uh, and also our local weather, which is going to be pretty much snooze and cruise for the next seven days. So it's actually looking pretty good for us. All right, let's get to some weather information. This morning, right now, we're sitting at 68 degrees. We've got a wind from the southwest at 5 and a dew point of 63. Now, the reason that wind direction is of importance is because it means the cool front that is coming through still has not yet passed through the area. I actually analyzed it this morning to be right around the Youngstown area as of 7 a.m., but it will pass through the area probably in the next three hours. As it does so, there is the chance we could see a spotty shower. Again, good morning. Wake up, whiteboard weather sponsored by Wetgo. 40 plus locations throughout the area. Um, for you to go and get your ride wash, get the sparkling wash, the showroom wash, uh, and you will have good mileage for your wash over the next seven days. Trust me on that. So visit a wet go location really soon. Uh, 8 a.m. this morning. Again, I'll include a spotty shower chance. Many places probably will not get one, and if you don't, you're not going to see a rain shower chance until probably this time next week. So a full week, I think, will go without rain. 
Mixture of clouds and sunshine, 75 at noon and 4 o'clock, a partly cloudy sky and 79 degrees uh, for your afternoon high temperature. Quick update on Dorian. Uh, it has weakened <clears throat> again just a little bit. 105 mile an hour sustained winds near the eye wall. It is now moving north northwest i think the forward motion is about eight miles an hour the offshore track continues right offshore of the florida coast it's going to make that little bit of a turn uh, near georgia south carolina still remaining offshore but then given sort of that trajectory and the fact that the obx stick out uh, i think it could provide a glancing blow maybe a brief landfall in the outer bank somewhere on friday before it really accelerates and heads out to sea late Friday and into Saturday. So that is the latest on Dorian, and that is your good morning wake up whiteboard for Pittsburgh. Again, after a spotty shower this morning, we are going to be dry this afternoon and beyond. Uh, it looks like we're going to have persistent high pressure uh, starting this afternoon, and that is going to continue through next Tuesday. So you can add it up with me. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Six days in a row of rain-free weather. Not only rain-free, but sunshine and really comfortable conditions. Temperatures mainly in the 70s, dew points in the 50s. So really pleasant stretch of weather coming up over the next six, seven days. Um, all right. Uh, finally, before I go, I always ask that you please share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. Uh, please do so. Uh, and finally, uh, a couple of um, sort of factoids today. I focused in on eyes today. Uh, did you know that blue eyes are a genetic mutation? So I guess I'm a mutant. <laughs> I think some people would probably uh, agree with that. And also, this is an interesting one. Um, when a person cries, uh, the first drop of tears, if it comes from the right eye, it looks like I'm pointing to my left, but my right eye. Um, if it comes from your right eye, it is meaning you're crying because of happiness. If it comes from your left eye, it means you're crying because of pain. Right eye happiness, first drop comes from the left eye, that means pain. So there you go. Uh, that is your little factoid of the day. Hope you have a great hump day today. I will talk to you again at three o'clock this afternoon for regular whiteboard weather, afternoon whiteboard weather, and uh, have yourself an outstanding Wednesday afternoon. Peace.